Lady and gentlemen, boys and girl, welcome to the Burn and Dorman MMA channel. Uh, a couple house cleaning things. Uh, how about that, Jeff Neal, huh? Quite a prospect from the DWCTS. He did something to Mike Platinum Perry that uh, I don't think anyone else really has. And I've I've seen Perry in uh, live action before, and I think he's better, much better now than one I had. So that link will be in the description. More on that later. Jeff Hands of Steel Neal, likely the BMF champion of DWCS and of restaurant workers. He still has a job. He has a day job, the guy. Promising prospect. Caught a lot of eyes with this recent one over Mike Perry. The start of this was kind of tentative. He was circling feigning, but nothing was being thrown that was substantial. Um, if anything, Perry was and he's deceptively large. He's got the reach of like George St. Pierre, I think 76 inches, light feet, and he's excellent with distance. Like here with that little teep. See how he's laid on his feet, always managing to kind of hop in and out and then dart in like that when he needs to. So slowed down, of course. And this is the this is the distance I'm pointing out and how 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 quickly he'll close that gap. So this is a very Pacquiao-like kind of no-tell left hand from Southpaw, exit stage right, you throw like that, and then you pivot out, keep your hands out, either lead hand anyway. It's from Southpaw, it's a really good, you know, open stance kind of strike. So intelligently, he punches his way out, and he feels his back to the fence here. There he is, circling out, weak side, excellent stuff. Prior to a quick uh, kick exchange between the two, it's really the feeling out process in the beginning, but the fight's that that quick that I can kind of, you know, get to the point. There's a big air ball there, that one wasn't so much. And that seemed like a half-hearted attempt at a side kick. So, about that distance, right? Wonderful distraction with the right hand. So a quick touch distracts with that right hand, opens up the lane for that beautiful distance left body kick or 10 middle. And you'll you'll see it here. There's kind of like a, a very obvious gap, but there's also a gap before it even starts. And how quickly he closes that, that's very uh, NFL-esque, if you will. So see from here. Look at how open that lane is, and that's that's the whole open stance thing, is that left body kick is often available for the uh, southpaw. And it's a, it's a wonderful tool because it'll open up things later, as it did in this fight. So he attempts the Pac-Man Blitz again, uh, no avail. Perry's just no joke. He's uh, good defensively. His hands are high there. He's kind of elbow blocking, and he got out of the way. So the difference in distance management becomes apparent pretty quickly. As you'll see here, so Mike kind of throws that two into a, a ten, but it was it was uh, labored to say the least. Right there, that connected. A lot of people kind of missed it, and I'm wondering, well, probably because he marched forward afterwards because the dude's so tough. And here he's fainting and angle breaking. These are essentially just reads, you know, but it's feints and reading and movement and weak side. So Perry keeps hands low, missed exchange, but gets away with it because of his chin, his power, etc. And you'll see here, there, he went for that left hand. What he's trying to do is just gauge what he's reacting to, where he'll open up. So, remember the last big strike, he flashed hands, faded off center line, and landed that body kick? Well, here, that was not much different. And that was flush, chin to chin, as they say. And then he Muay Thai gym, um, well, most anyway. And that one certainly hurt. This following pursuit is like high IQ meets high octane. The way he closes this gap, long armed, he's kind of feeling out, feeling out, and it's it's patiently measured. So when Perry goes for a level change, he pays. It's, it's just it's awareness, it's IQ, bang, right there. Now he blitz shifts that left hand off of that. Wonderful stuff. And this right hand kind of slipped in and was like a camera switch. I think people missed it, and this was just an onslaught. That left hand certainly got in there. Um, it was just, it was flurrying and putting them out. I mean, this, I didn't cut much out footage wise. I just slowed some things down, if anything. I'd fight last about a minute. So, this was a wonderful after missing that high 10. He framed to square his hips for power. And see how his right hand's cork. There it is. Slips it on the chin. And this left hand right here. Bang! That's the big difference maker. Dude's in trouble. That was the pretty obvious beginning to the pretty obvious end. And as Rogan said, you know, no, no one's ever really torched. Mike Perry in, in this in this fashion and he's fired up as well he should be I don't know who's next for this uh, incredible prospect we have in, in Jeff Neal but uh, he's a blue belt so I wouldn't be surprised by a grappler or something like it and um, 
I I'm just excited to see something new. He sees certainly something new at 170. Um, crazy power. So be sure to check out my Patreon, BJJ Fanatics link, Teespring link. I'll keep all those links in the description. If you like, share it, subscribe it, especially with Jeff if you happen to train with him. I know a lot of people watch my stuff, so um, my Patreon link and everything else will be below. Make sure you hit that bell, get reminders, stay in, stay in tune and stay tuned.